ITV are kicking off the Queen's Jubilee celebrations this Sunday with a star-studded event that's broadcast live from the Royal Windsor Horse Show. The Queen's Platinum Jubilee celebration is an evening which honours Her Majesty by taking the audience on a gallop through history. Mm. Uh, Julie Etchingham <laughs> and I will be hosting the proceedings. I know that when I see you on the sofa, something big is happening. <laughs> 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 it's lovely to be here. It's nice to see you again. It's to see you so we did the the wedding of Kate William in 2011, 2012, the Queen's Diamond Jubilee. I can't believe uh, how long oh, ago that goodness. was and how fast that time has gone. 2018, uh, Harry and Meghan. Here we are together again. So it, it's the final day of the Royal Windsor Horse Show, uh, which is an event that we know that Her Majesty absolutely loves. Yes, I mean, even when uh, we had that beautiful birthday photograph released of, of the Queen just a few weeks ago, mm -hmm. she was there with her two ponies, wasn't she? It was just yeah. this beautiful image. And I thought that just spoke to everything that we're going to be looking at, really, on, on Sunday evening. I mean, this is going to be just the most extraordinary spectacle, isn't it? Well, I mean... it's, the, it's the sort of thing, because you look at it on paper now, and we've had sort of meetings <laughs> and things and talked about it, and thought... This is the one I would imagine that would appeal the most ah. because there are horses yeah. and ponies. There are 500 horses. Yeah. 1,300 performers. So this is very it's incredible. Her. This yeah, is, I think so. Yeah. I think so. OK. So I feel like I'm like I'm getting the gossip from both of you here. This is great. <laughs> this is great. I feel like you're asking, but you already know. <laughs> so talk to us, you know, with these events, you expect them to be star-studded, you expect big performers. Can you tell us about any performers? It is, it is the most extraordinary lineup, isn't it, Phil? I yeah. mean, every... And we've got Dame Helen Mirren, uh, Kiala Settle, Gregory wow. Porter... And just Tom Cruise. Oh, OK. I mean, just Tom Cruise as well in the mix. And, I mean, so many big names. Alan Titchmarsh is going to be there, Martin Clunes. Omid Jalili is the herald who's going to take everybody through the extravaganza that's unfolding before them. And people have come from all over the world. Horses have come from all over wow. the world for Azerbaijan, Canada. It's just extraordinary. The more I sort of read about it, I mean, mm. the people who are organising this and the amazing team that are producing the mm. programme, I mean, goodness, they've got their work cut oh, out absolutely. for them. Well, yeah. They really have. And, and it's testament to the love of her around the world of how many of those... Uh, people uh, with their animals <clears throat> wanted to be here. Absolutely. And so many of them have had, you know, a key part in the Queen's life and at the centre of which has always been this enormous passion for horses, whether it's, you know, you know, the, her thoroughbreds or the ponies that she's been riding till really, you know, late into life. She mm. had her first pony when she was three years old, Peggy, given to her by her father. Mm -hmm. um, you know, so this is just this amazing way of charting this extraordinary life. I It'll think. be a hell of a night. And how often do you expect to say in a lineup? Tom Cruise and I Alan Titchmarsh. I, I, I don't know. I didn't, that's exactly where my that brain went. That can't have been said before. Do you know, know? Absolutely. Obviously, this, you know, you're here hosting live telly every day. You know, obviously, everybody's very used to live. Anything can go wrong. That's the beauty of it. That's what we all love. But there is... I'm sitting here thinking, guys, this is a royal event. Does the... Does the pressure go up a notch when you're doing something <laughs> of this nature? Just a bit. Yeah. You're really good with it. You're so cool. I'm a wreck beforehand. Well, Are you? I yeah, think you're, really being, you're, you're being incredibly... Um, <laughs> you're just so smooth. There. And, you know, uh, I'm sitting there gripping. No, so well, not, not true, because, because you know that you are a uh, head girl. <laughs> <laughs> You, you swap more than anybody else and you know absolutely every single fact of everything. Although, I, but, and I, you know, sorry to say this, but, you know, you are a little bit of a terror when it comes to a boiled sweet. I am. Um... Got stuck to my dress in the... Uh, when, well, everybody will know if you're doing these great big long shows, and mm -hmm. I think we were on for about seven hours with Harry and Meghan's wedding, weren't they? And you can't... You can barely have time to get a glass of water to your lips, so the only way you keep going is by sort of the odd sweet. Right. And we had a packet of Percy pigs shoved at the back of the sofa, and I thought I might sneak one quickly, and then suddenly the camera cut back to us, so I stuck it under oh my, my skirt. And then we had to stand up, and every time I look at that, I give all I can see is... My lovely dress with the Percy Pig sweet. <laughs> the best pure sweet. class. The best sweet. Um, we're I think we're going to cross over very quickly now to uh, one of the many performers from uh, Sunday Night Show, 15-year-old Scarlett Haddo, who's uh, riding her pony Indy uh, alongside the Pony Club CEO wow. Mark. Oh, look at that! It's Capel. wonderful. Welcome to all Good of you. Morning. Lovely to see you, Scarlett. Um, how are you? How are you feeling? Are you excited? Hello. 
Yeah, I'm very excited, but I'm also very nervous. Um, yeah. <laughs> Understandably. Good nerves, though. You need those good nerves. Yeah. Tell me how much preparation has gone into Sunday night. Oh, we've been, we were training for about four hours on um, Sunday night and um, we've just been working at it and, yeah. <laughs> and so what will you actually be doing? Because this is a, the, 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 the whole pony club, the involvement um, initially started, this, this particular competition started by the Duke of Edinburgh, so mm -hmm. very, uh, very, something very important to him, very close to the Queen. What are you going to be doing on the day? Um, so I'm going to be doing mounted games um, in the show and in the pageant I'm going to be like galloping around the ring in between each um, act with a big heavy flag strapped to my shoe. Wow. It's been very hard to um, do that. <laughs> um, Marcus, this is a, it's a big responsibility. Um, obviously you have uh, an amazing team there who've trained so much. Uh, it does mean a lot to all of you because yeah. it's a big event. Yeah, absolutely. You can see behind me all the, all the Pony Club members that are here. They're competing during the day, during the Manta Games, and then to be part of this fabulous opportunity once in a lifetime. And looking forward to Sunday with the stars, but it's a lot of work. You can't see the other side of the camera. All the parents have made this all happen as well and trekked all over from uh, Ireland and UK. So really, really exciting chance for them. So much excitement. You can imagine, like you say, you don't think of that, do you? The yeah. whole families, everybody really, really looking forward to Sunday. How many are there? How many children? How many ponies? We've got 30 riders, 25 ponies, and plus all the entourage, so the parents and, as I say, the guardians and the drivers and the feeders, the cooks, the whole camp. <laughs> <laughs> Just amazing. Well, we'll see you all on Sunday. Can't wait. The very best of luck. Best of luck to you all. Look forward to it. And to the families too. Yeah. Cheerleading. Thank you. Well done. Thank, <laughs> Thank you, Scarlett. <laughs> Thanks very much. I don't think that we'll get a chance to kiss on this one, will we? Well, I don't know, Phil. I mean, really. Who am I to say? Oh, well, that was quite a memory, really, wasn't it, at <laughs> the Royal Wedding? Well, there were, there were, yeah, well, <laughs> well, we were egged on by the crowd. We were, Come and on, it was just... Oh, this. goodness. Oh, look at this. <laughs> it's, it's true, you, you, don't really, you, walk, you don't really see them touching. Oh, they're shouting kiss. <laughs> what do you see they're them talking about William and Kate. I didn't want to see them. Hang on a second. I've never had something else in mind. <laughs> <laughs> I, we didn't know who they were shouting kiss at. No. Well, I definitely think you guys, because of the cheer was brilliant. <laughs> but it was great because we were down at the level with the crowds. We weren't in some lofty studio looking down on it all. We were right at sort of shoulder level with everybody. And the atmosphere was unforgettable, wasn't yeah. it? I mean, it was such good fun and everybody got caught up in it. And yeah. obviously he did. Got quite well, carried, away. Well. carried away. It, it got a good reaction. <laughs> I will That's see sure. you on Sunday. I, will see you uh, on I can't luck, wait. It's a, it's, this is going to be such a special event. Yeah. Special for Her Majesty, I think, a, a, a really full on show. Yeah. A full That's on show. Yeah. show. Uh, see you on Sunday. I'll see you and on Sunday. And it is Good the luck, Queen's guys. Platinum Jubilee celebration Sunday at 8 on ITV. Yes. Hold on. I'll see you on Saturday because we're <laughs> rehearsing it. <laughs> 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 <laughs>